about four or five years after my divorce, I started going back to uh, square and contra dancing. Something that always felt very good to me. I could get into it, get carried away by it. So it was a pleasure to, uh, to pick it up again. Uh, and with the idea that, um, okay, I was doing this for the music, for the dance, for the interaction, and not at all with the idea of it being another dating venue. I mean, though still, how pleasant it was that there were women present. <laughs> this particular time that happened, um, my younger daughter was in the uh, Greater Boston Youth Symphony Orchestra. She played the flute there. And um, she came home at one point with a, a t-shirt. And bless her, she gave it to her dad. It had a musical score on it. And um, what a item of prestige. And, uh, uh, and it was from my daughter. So naturally, I was going to wear it. The uh, score was the uh, Rite of Spring. No, it's OK. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so on this particular night, going out to the, count, the scout house, I was wearing that shirt. And as I was uh, dancing in the contra line, going from partner to partner, um, I noticed this very attractive young woman, um, sparkly. I particularly noticed how well she carried herself. Uh, she really knew what she was doing. So when the set was over, I hurried over to where she was sitting and asked her to dance. So off we went. And as we went into the balance and swing, really going very smoothly, I noticed something odd. She was looking at my chest. <laughs> <laughs> so at that time, I had reached a certain age without finding a life mate. And I decided if I have not found one by now, I'm not going to. I will stay single for the rest of my life, and I will make the best of it. <laughs> so when a friend from a women's grant, a group suggested we go dancing together, I thought, OK. I love to dance. So off we went to the Concord Scout House, and I saw this guy there wearing a really interesting t-shirt. It had a, an orchestral score on it. And you know, in, in, in dancing like this, a, a t-shirt will appear and disappear and appear and disappear as you do all your dosy -si dos and everything. And I became more and more curious. So I waited until a break and said, can I read your t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at it. Now, maybe some of you who look at that score would know right off the bat what that is. If you do know, if you did know when you first saw it, I, my hat is off to you because I looked at it and thought, uh-oh, <laughs> I'm not sure I can do this. I usually play the piano and I see two lines, but here are all these lines. I don't, I don't know if I could do it. So I started reading very carefully the notes. I saw all those repeated notes at the bottom. There's an F flat. Um, sort of interesting notes, and I put them together in my head, and I saw these, these notes don't usually go together. They're made up of, of two chords played at at once. Oh. 
Oh, I think I remember this chord from, from music theory class. Dr. Boda put it up on the board. I think this is the chord. And he said, this is a really important chord. You ought to remember it uh, with the two chords coming at once. And this is very different in, in the history of music, how this harmony was being used. So I just said to, to this guy, is it the right of spring? He said, yes. And he said, it is? Because <laughs> I didn't quite believe it. He said, yes. He didn't seem particularly impressed or, or, <laughs> or surprised. <laughs> and so we had a nice little conversation. And I thought, well, that was fun. Uh, there are interesting people here. And so a couple of weeks later, I went back to Concord with my uh, friend from the women's group. And this guy was there again. And we got in a conversation at the break. And um, he said, would you like to go out sometime? Are you at that stage of life? And I thought, why, why yes, I guess I am. <laughs> so we had a very nice first date. And this guy came to mean more and more to me as time went on. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was outside those very doors with my father. <laughs> and Jim was up here with his three wonderful kids. And then we were saying important words to each other. And then Helen Cohen, our minister, who is now Minister Emerita, was also saying important words. And the next thing we knew, we were going outside and starting a new life together. Thank you, Igor Stravinsky. <laughs> <laughs> for helping me meet my husband, introducing us um, <laughs> through that amazing chord. No, no. There, there's a postscript. As a postscript, it occurs to me that if I were trying to make a play for a specific truly special sort of person, the message I was wearing could have not been more to the point. <laughs> and now you can hear this chord being played, and it goes on as long as we have time for. <laughs>